baseball and movies. We love them both. Next, we explore the history of America's pastime on the silver screen and debate what is the best baseball flick of all time. It's coming up on this edition of the Arizona Sports Faceoff. My name is Adam Green, this is Vince Murata, and we're a couple of the writers on ArizonaSports.com. And like Vince, you said in the intro, we are big baseball fans and that means baseball movies. Of What's course. your favorite? Well, you know, a big important factor for me in what makes a great baseball movie is whether or not the actors look like they can play. So obviously my pick is the 1997 film Ed starring Matt LeBlanc and a monkey who <laughs> plays third base. I'm joking. It's uh, of course The Natural, uh, 1984 course, the flick. Natural with Robert Redford starring as Roy Hobbs, a mystery man, a middle-aged rookie who had a checkered past, whose career was once derailed by a gunshot wound from a crazy fan. Uh, it's a great, great story. But most importantly, Robert Redford can play a little baseball. He actually was a college baseball player before he lost his scholarship in real life and uh, had the sweet swing, the left-handed swing of Roy Hobbs, and it really brought the story of the natural to life. It's a good movie. It's a good choice, but it's the wrong choice. All right, enlighten best, me, Adam. Best baseball movie, and I think you guys will all agree, The Sandlot. Shut up, Adam. Now, <laughs> I may be showing my relative youth on this one. I don't want to say my youth because I'm getting old myself. This movie was nine when it, I was nine when this movie came out, and it's just a fun movie. And to me, baseball is about fun. It's about having a good time this summer and everything that goes with it. And The Sandlot was nothing but fun. Just a bunch of kids playing pickup baseball on a daily basis. They have their rivals. They have all that comes with being kids in this summer and it's just like a magical time and that's what baseball should be and that's why it's the best movie. I love the movie The Sandlot. Good. But you're just off on this one. That's all I'll say. Enlighten me. <laughs> Please. Uh, the other thing that I love about the movie The Natural is it takes you back to a simpler time in the world of sports. Now with you know, so much information available about every player, uh, you know, this movie goes back to 1939 and it really paints the picture of how life was in America, how baseball was the center point of, of pop culture really in America. And you really start to believe that there could be a mystery player like Roy Hobbs in 1939. Now, if you had an up-and-coming phenom who was shot at uh, age 18, you'd hear about it and it would follow him around for the rest of his life. There wouldn't be that mysterious factor. I just love the way that it transports you back in time to the late 30s. True, but in a way, and the natural isn't exactly, I mean, it's a good story, but it's not new. You get the whole redemption factor from an athlete who was true good at one point. True story, too, did you know? Oh, very true. <laughs> it's a wonder boy and everything, yeah. But there are other movies that are like that, and Sandlot, I think, is just one of those movies where it's part of what makes it fun is that it could be real. Now, I didn't get to play any pickup baseball. I played Little League. I'm sure you played up until, you know, college, AAA, I think, is where yes. you see your career finished. Shoulder. But... It's one of those things where I think as kids and even as adults, we all kind of wish we could have done that, and but we can envision ourselves doing that. And I never thought of myself as the natural, but we could have been any one of these kids playing baseball and doing everything that they did. And besides, when it comes to great movies, I think of what's quotable. Now, I don't know how many lines you can remember from the natural, but you don't get things like, you're killing these smalls, and you play ball like a girl. It doesn't get any better than that. I'll give you the point on the quotation factor. My final point on The Natural is, is the acting. I mean, this was not just a great baseball movie. This was a great movie. Two Academy Award winners. The cast combined for 15 nominations in uh, acting categories throughout their career. It's a phenomenal piece of filmmaking that was based on a book and actually made better than the book. Uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful piece of filmmaking. Uh, I'm a film snob now. Well, apparently, I guess my thing is, what movie will I stop to watch? If I'm just flipping through the channels and I see something on TV, which one will I stop for? And I always stop for the Sandlot. I don't know what that says about me, good or bad. I don't think people do that for the natural. How do you feel? I do. Every time it's on, I'll watch it. How do you feel about the Sandlot too? Did they make a Sandlot too? <laughs> I kind of that, that never happened. That never happened. Well, to use one of your own lines, you're killing me, Green. <laughs> we have spoken. Time for you to speak now. Maybe you agree with me, and you think the Natural is the greatest baseball movie of all time. Or maybe you agree with the youngster over here and agree that I The like Sandlot the yeah, the Sandlot was the greatest baseball movie of all time. Maybe you go on your own way and, and pick your own movie that you think is the best baseball flick of all time. Find us on ArizonaSports.com, vote in the poll, leave a comment, get involved in the conversation. That's this week's edition of The Face Off. I'm Vince Murata. He's Adam Green. We'll see you soon on another edition of The Face Off here on ArizonaSports.com.